external body. It's like, uh, you know, it's like a little cash transfer uh, to, the, to the person. Um, and then uh, the Gilbert's question verification is, yeah, this is uh, for the second year, what is it, the 11th month of the book, you know, they call revolution. For the second month, uh, there were those who were found to be cheating. If, if you ask somebody to, to take an exam for you. So the reaction of this computer kicks from Stanford was I'd say, that's an easy problem. That's an easy problem. So they were able to solve it already. How? Um, if you are using your computer and you do a stroke query, ASDL, your stroke and your stroke are unique. It's like your identity. Hard, you know, sometimes. Not hard. For me, it's unique. And over a period of time, that your biometric uh, ID. So it's unique to you. And you're going to cheat. You're going to ask Greek to take your statistic exam. <laughs> Verification. Verification. This is another, I have a picture here that I can show. There is a proctor certification. What that means is there's a picture in front of you and you are being seen to be doing it. So that can do it for, for you because it, there is a video. There is a uh, camera in front of the computer. How much does the classroom cost for the blender? We, now it, it, that would depend on the device, actually, and the, you know, uh, the broadband cost. <laughs> so those are very variable. And uh, what incentive? This is a very good question, and I think we need everybody to help here. To find the right incentives for the teachers, uh, for the learners and the students to, uh, to, to, to take advantage of the books. Why incentive? Okay, I mentioned that the uh, average completion rate is 20%. What happened? What happened in a situation where you know that you have to pay, you have to pay for accessing the MOOC? Meaning to say, this is a certified MOOC in Coursera. What happened was so there was a comparison between those who are not paying, meaning to say, I don't care whether I finish or not, versus those people who, are, who wanted certification. And the result is very outstanding. Because those who are uh, just taking it for free, the passing rate remained about 15, 20%. But those who were to pay for $50 at the end, those had a, a completion rate of 75 to 80 percent incentive. And that, I, I did uh, this more or less the same uh, seminar to USAID yesterday. And um, so in the blended book model, which Coursera promoted to all embassies in the world, they found that uh, this blended learning, meaning to say there was a study group within the library of the <coughs> embassy who those who have already gone through the, uh, uh, the online course, they gathered together in a facilitated, you know, blended book, blended learning, the completion rate in the US embassy here is 80%. So there is something to be together, learning together, understanding the, the subject. And so, um, so the, really the, uh, the cost is, the cost structure is changing a lot. Whereas before, if you were uh, a school that could not access a professor in nanotechnology, for example, all of a sudden, you can access something like nanotechnology course from Stanford, 
facilitators by somebody in the school who understand a little bit of that and deliver the course in school. Well, now you have a professor, which is almost equivalent to the master teacher. So, uh, and, and because of that, the potential to drive down the cost is the potential is enormous, I think. And so the changes in the technology, the changes in the methodology of pedagogy is changing. We went to Stanford University uh, about six months ago. We, uh, the uh, methodology for online is changing very fast. They now are trying to have a research funded by money from, uh, from foundation on how to uh, make the uh, MOOC teacher more animated. Because even if you are a, a really good, a, a, a bright professor, but you don't know how to teach, you know, you wouldn't really look good online. So uh, there are supplementing this with uh, with other methodologies that you can do online. For example, I give an example here. You can do uh, interactive you know, question and answer, uh, where your learning becomes better. And so they're discovering uh, a teacher and a tutor uh, with uh, the, the, the vice uh, chancellor for, uh, for online learning in, uh, in Stanford compose a group of cognitive teachers, cognitive professors, cognitive teaching. We need to say that you know you need you need the uh, ability of a cognitive scientist in order to perfect, to, uh, to enable the boring to say it's boring, you know, listening to a talking head. So you must animate them uh, in order that we will not fall asleep and do your you know so there are many, many, so it's emerging now into the MOOCs 2.0 because the cognitive tutor is now evolving and uh, research of that is happening in many places in the world, including the world of Um the, In the demand, uh, you question around the, 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 the quality. Yeah, uh, if, you, if, you, if you try just to look at the Udemy course, which is paid, you know, 